uh, for a very particular group of spiders called sheet web spiders and they're very tiny spiders that build really little webs either on the soil surface or just above it. And the spiders are really, really abundant and we're looking at them as an indicator of heavy metal contamination. So we use the vacuum sampler to vacuum the vegetation and ground surface. We collect the small spiders within the vacuum sample within a uh, sampler in a canister. Then we dump that out onto a white tray and as the spiders disperse from the canister, we can carefully suck them up with uh, this tool, which is an aspirator. So you suck into one end and there's a piece of cotton here and the spider becomes trapped in this tube and then you can drop it into a vial. Uh, the city of Cleveland has over 20,000 vacant lots, over 3,600 acres of vacant land. And there's a lot of concerns with the amount of growing vacant land. trying to look at how the conversion of vacant lots to gardens influences spider abundance and also the amount of lead concentration in the spiders. And we're doing that sort of for two reasons. One is when you create a community garden, you typically bring in soil and put that on top of some type of barrier or in a raised bed. And we want to see if animals that are in that habitat accrue, accumulate less lead than animals that are in a site where there was no soil management done. The other reason is, is just because if we're trying to create habitats for beneficial insects on vacant lots and we're bringing them in, we want to know if that has any negative effect on their, their reproduction or longevity or other factors and whether that bioaccumulates through food chains. Insects are a really valuable indicator of environmental change. They respond really quickly to changes in a habitat. So if you plant something different or apply a chemical or there's some type of toxin introduced into an environment or there's a forest fire or some type of change occurs, any type of change, insects will be one of the first animals that respond to that change. And so they provide a lot of good quality data that we can use to understand broader communities.